If you've been getting parking tickets for not moving your car during street cleaning in the city, you may want to listen to this. A Brooklyn councilman is pushing for a new law that will tow vehicles after a certain number of tickets. CBS 2's Alicia Reed explains his plan and has reaction from community. Finding a parking spot in New York City is sometimes considered a mini victory. Parking in New York is so hard. But drivers that refuse to give them up by not moving during alternate side parking are risking getting their cars towed. The streets of New York City are too dirty, and they're not getting any cleaner. Brooklyn Councilman Lincoln Ressler says it's difficult for sanitation workers to do their jobs with vehicles in the way. More trash on the streets add to the city's rat problem. Rats have been blowing up everywhere. Across New York City last year, there were 12,000 complaints in 2022 for dirty streets and for inadequate street cleaning. With Ressler's plan, any vehicle that gets three tickets for violating parking rules will be towed. That's even after each $65 fine is paid on time. But if it's happening four or five or six or eight times in a year, there needs to be real accountability. It means that you've decided you don't care. Some agree this is a good idea. Well, they just park anyway, so they deserve it. <laughs> Others say no way. The economy right now is already crazy, right? Jeanette Gonzalez once had her car towed and couldn't afford to get it back. It was my car. I pay. I didn't owe my car. I didn't owe the car. It was mine, so it really hurt me because it was like all my savings. And and they just towed my car and tell me that I have to come up with like three thousand dollars just for the towing and the place where they took it. Today's proposal will go to hearing in the months ahead. If it gets passed into law, it could take up to 90 days to take effect. Now, Councilman Ressler says there will be a large public awareness campaign so everyone understands the new rules. From City Hall, Alicia Reed, CBS 2 News.